enforcement, but they are helping solve cold cases across Michigan. They are college students and are invested in helping detectives on the case. But most importantly, helping the families who are left without any answers and questions as to what happened to their loved ones. These cases are not done in 45 minutes of a TV show. Uh, it's a lot of committed time and hours that are put into it. I actually came to Western for the cold case program. Kate Witten and Madeline Mill are both juniors at Western Michigan University. They, along with Sean Montroy, Sydney Thornton, and Elizabeth Jervis, have been background checked and selected for the WMU cold case program. The victim family members is the entire reason that we are here attempting to help detectives in their very difficult work. That difficult work is the reason Dr. Ashlyn Kirsten started this program five years ago. Since then, they have helped solve cases and most importantly, give closure to families who are left with questions. I can't believe um, how many lives this program has touched, how many victim family members um, show up here and say, thank you. Thank you. The program at WMU has helped investigate or are currently investigating 18 cases across Michigan. One of those cases is right here in Genesee County in Fenton. It's not just like some pretend made up in class scenario to get you more familiar with what you're working with. No, these are real people. I do think that meeting the family has made me feel so much more connected and wanting to find Rhonda, especially knowing that her daughter is my age. It's like, I can't even begin to imagine what that would be like. The Rhonda Jahari case has left a family wondering what happened to this mother, sister, and daughter. Rhonda was last seen on February 11th, 2009, outside her apartment in Fenton on Shiawassee Avenue. For 15 years, her family has been wondering what happened to her. Detective Thomas Cole says he's been with the Fenton Police Department for 24 years. This is the only cold case he's ever had. I can tell you in this case, it's got extremely difficult. Uh, 15 years, unfortunately, witnesses, people that I would have liked to talk to, are deceased. Even with some of those roadblocks, Detective Cole is determined more than ever to answer what happened to Rhonda Jahari. To wake up every morning not knowing where your sister is, or your daughter, or your mother, uh, I, I don't want to imagine it. Cole says with Fenton being a smaller department, he knew he needed help, which is why he asked for the students at Western to give him a hand. I've worked on the case now for a couple months and some change. Um, and I, I mean, I've been able to interview the family, um, talk with the family, meet them and it's, it really brings you closer to the case. These students are dedicated, spending hours and hours going through evidence. I had a box like this just filled with documentation. They took that box and put it into PDF form over 1,600 pages to where I could go search search Tom Cole in there, it would show me how many times I show up and what pages I show up on. Their determination to solve this case is something that Detective Cole believes is what makes this time different. Well, Western Michigan University, yeah, I, I think this is the time that we're going to find her. Right now, there is a reward offering up to $2,500 for information that leads to an arrest and conviction in the Rhonda Jahari case. Any tips to Crime Stoppers will remain anonymous. We have linked all the details about the Jahari case and the WMU cold case program on our website, minmichigannow.com.